This takes me back to my student days in Paris. Back then, when I hungered for meat, I'd order anglais, hanger steak. It was richly flavored, and more important, it was cheap. That's the inspiration for this dish, grilled hanger steak with caramelized onion mustard sauce. First, let me show you how to set up the grill. I fueled the grill with blue rhino propane. Pull it out, and as always, the first step is to open the valve on top of the propane cylinder. Open the grill lid. This is very important. You never want to light a gas grill with the lid closed, otherwise you could have a potentially dangerous buildup of propane. Now, turn on the burner. Wait a minute, and then hold your hand about two inches above the grate. Make sure you can feel the heat so you know the burners are lit. We'll preheat the grill. Meanwhile, I'll show you the steaks. This is a hanger steak, so-called because it hangs between the rib and the loin, supporting the diaphragm. It's located near the kidney, so it has a very rich, meaty flavor that some people describe as ferrous, iron-like. It's also called the butcher steak because it's so flavorful, butchers used to keep it for themselves. Now, the first thing I'll do is season the steaks on all sides with coarse sea salt freshly ground black pepper. And then I'm going to paint the hanger steaks with Dijon mustard. So this is going to add an extra layer of mustardy flavor. Now turn the steaks over and season the other side the same way. And I'll let the steaks marinate with the mustard and salt and pepper while I make the sauce. Notice we're working over a pan of ice. Always a good idea to keep your perishable ingredients chilled when you're working outside. For the sauce, start by melting butter in a saucepan. Next, add one finely chopped sweet onion, organic please, and cook the onion until caramelized, that is a dark golden brown. This will take five to eight minutes. Once your onions are this deep golden brown, add your heavy cream. And boil the heavy cream until reduced by half. That will concentrate the flavor of the sauce and thicken it. Okay, back to the grill. You remember I have a little mantra, it goes, keep it hot, keep it clean, keep it lubricated. Lay the steaks on the grill, just slightly on the diagonal. Grilling time is about three to four minutes per side for medium rare. Close the lid of the grill to hold in the heat, speed up the cooking time. Meanwhile, on our sauce, you can see it is nicely reduced, taking on that beautiful caramelized onion color. So the last step is to whisk in grainy French mustard. And we'll whisk the ingredients together. Take a taste. Mm, delectable. I love the sweetness of the onions and the sharpness of the mustard. So I'll just turn the sauce off. Back to the steaks, and they are ready for your quarter turn. Be another couple minutes on this side, then I'll turn the steaks over. So how do you know when it's time to turn the steaks? Well, you see blood purling up on the top of the steak. That tells you you're ready for the turn. Cooking time, another three to four minutes. And once again, give each steak a quarter turn. How do you know when the steak is done? People have a little trick to help you recognize the doneness of a steak using the poke test. If you make the OK sign like this, feel that pad of flesh below your thumb. It is soft and yielding. That would correspond to a rare steak. Move your thumb over to your 
middle finger. Uh, that pad of flesh is a little firmer. That would correspond to a medium rare steak. Move it over to your ring finger. Uh, the pad of flesh is firmer still. That would be a medium steak. Finally, you go over to your baby finger. It's quite firm, very firm. That would be a well done steak. Obviously, everybody's hand is different, but really what you want to see. You see how this meat is gently yielding? Gently yielding? That is the poke test. It's a great way to tell when steak is done. When you take the steaks off, place them on a wire rack over a sheet pan. It keeps the bottoms from getting soggy because air can circulate around the steak. You don't want to serve a steak hot off the grill. Let the steaks rest a couple of minutes. This relaxes the meat and lets the juices redistribute. That whole thing about serving a steak hot off the grill, it's a myth. And now, the big moment. You want to slice it across the grain, as we do with any fiber steak. See, we've got a nice medium rare. Transfer the sliced hanger steak to your plate. Then take your mustard sauce and spoon the mustard sauce over the meat. And finally, sprinkle the steak with some chopped fresh chives. So there is your hanger steak with caramelized onion mustard sauce. Let's see if it's how I remember it from Paris. Take a bite. Mm. Really nice crust on the outside, very rich, beefy flavor in the center. And I love how the sharpness of the mustard sauce balances the richness of the beef. That's a hanger. There's no other steak like it.